but it, it was something to live up to. Awesome. Um, do you guys want to, anyone else up there want to ask a question? <laughs> Don't be shy. Come on, ask a question. What did you shoot it at? <laughs> uh, we worked a lot with the 5D, that's what we were kind of using the past couple shorts as well. And, uh, yeah. I saw someone in the front row. Yes, sir. Why did you choose to have the girl with short hair killed before they got to the house? Oh, well. <laughs> Steve and Kevin. Good question. Well, I knew that from the very moment that I started the script that I wanted the first kill to be the night school kill, which um, just, that went to work at the house. So um, we wanted to kind of have our little our little night school with Tawny, and we had to pick the merry-go-round, so, so we were excited about that. And then um, we also kind of wanted to play up the fact that, okay, well, these other people haven't arrived yet, so any of them can possibly be the killer. <clears throat> All right, any, any more questions? <laughs> what idea was it to name the characters' uh, last names after writers, directors? One sec. We'll get right back to you. <laughs> that was something that was not too long before we started shooting, actually. Me and Kevin were on the phone, just kind of bouncing ideas of different changes we should make. And this was one of the ideas that kind of Kevin came up with, and we were just kind of looking, looking on DVDs and stuff and seeing who we looked up to. Um, who inspired us, and we got a little, pay a little tribute to them. Next. Yellow shirt. Where was this shot? Yellow shirt. Uh, it was shot at Nina High School, a park in Nina, and then the uh, house was in Fremont. So, all pretty local. <laughs> she got a uh, a, a bit of tip. All right. Uh, anyway. No, so some cool behind the scenes stuff is we actually lived and shot in the same house for two, almost three weeks, right? Um, while we were doing it. So that was a cool experience. So all of those rooms or bedrooms or this and that was like a, someone was sleeping in there the night before, and then there was like a displaced person, and then we were shooting. <laughs> and so it was cool because, um, so to sort of go back to the question of like, how was it or was there pressure? There wasn't because you're living in this world for nearly a month. It's just, you're surrounded by it. So on our time off, you know, if we were on a day shoot, we'd shoot all day long and then we watch these movies at night, you know, and so it was fun and, and because you're with your cast and with, with your crew and there's this camaraderie in this family, and every single person wanted to be there and loved what they were doing. Or, you know, we even had John come out and he helped with like lights and stuff. And, and it's rare that you get this community um, Support, so it was really, it was really fantastic. It was a little behind the scenes. I think that's what we all love about the horror community. We all really stick together, and it's so fun. I wanted that kind of experience where you stay on the set like that. It, it sounds awesome. It's a blessing and a curse. <laughs> <laughs> By the end, were you guys ready to get the hell out of there? <laughs> we totally work. We totally yeah, everybody was like, when we were talking about that, and they were talking about this, like, you know, you, you get, I mean, you just get tired. Anything that you're, you're that intensely focused on, right, you're going to get a little bit like, okay, go, we're going to be wrapping up. Um, but then, like, a week later, you're like, oh, so I sort of missed that house, and I sort of missed those people, and, you know, the blood. It's kind of like summer camp. It really is. It really was. Except no one beat us up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> Tell about it. it was really cold, really, really cold every time we were filming anything ever. <laughs> Mike, does your ass have its own IMDb credit? Yes. <laughs> but unfortunately, it doesn't yet. I heard it actually cost money to put up pictures up like that, so. Uh, <laughs> maybe, hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. Maybe I'll put it out on uh, the fundraiser thing Steve and Kevin did. <laughs> All right. Anyone else out there? Yeah, I just want to know, especially for that guy. What were you drinking at the party? <laughs> <laughs> movie. What movie? Then the beginning of this one. Um, at, the, at the house party, the beginning of the Red Solar Cup. Who's the It's a question. Who? Me? Yeah. Probably, uh, Chris. Nick. Chris. Christopher. The guy who plays Christopher. That's Nick. Nick Silver. What was I actually drinking? Or yeah. Water. <laughs> really? <Real. laughs> yeah. Just water. I was not drunk on this. <laughs> I'm acting drunk, drunk and sober, and uh, 
It's harder to sort. <laughs> you cannot, it's actually really difficult filming with him because you can't keep a straight face. Because he just drifts and drifts and drifts and drifts. And you want to participate, you're like, no, I'm serious. I'm actually going to do it. Stop, Christopher. Shut up, that was really funny. It was great. All right. One more. Um, as there's six of you cast members up there, the roles you played from high school, were you like that in high school or were you the opposite? No. <laughs> um, yeah. Honesty. Hon <laughs> no, I was not yeah, popular in high school. Hell, no, God, no. Nobody liked me. <laughs> Scott was my high school, so. Me too, but I was the geek, so totally. I never went to high school. Oh. <laughs> uh, yes, I was a closet homosexual. <laughs> start becoming a true asshole until my college years. <laughs> um, and I was told by my fiance that it needs to stop or else she might be gone. So. <laughs> yeah.